Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial from fusion360tutorials.com and today we're going to be looking at the create form. So forms are used for creating more organic objects. So far in most of our other tutorials like our Lego brick tutorial, our ball valve tutorial, we've been looking at making mechanical objects which tend to um, not take on organic shapes and forms. Um, so there is this tool here called forms which allows us to create kind of organic looking shapes. So if we start with a box and we'll go on the um, bottom plane here and we'll drag this out. So we'll make a box there um, and when we're doing this organic modeling probably you know dimensions don't matter quite so much. It's a little bit more flexible but we'll go 60 by 100. Um, and enter. Okay. So now we've got that, we can choose our height. Let's go 60. Now you'll see that this box is subdivided. We can, we can actually edit here our width, our height, and the number of height faces, our, our length, and the number of length faces. So if we change these numbers, you'll see that the lower we make these numbers, the more rounded our box looks. If we make it one, we're going to end up with something kind of egg-shaped or rugby ball-shaped, you see? So the more subdivisions we have, the more box-like our shape will become. But it's also going to become a little bit more complex to model because you're going to have more faces and shapes and vertices to move around and push and pull when we get into that. So um, we'll just go for five, five, and five. And five. Okay. So maybe on our length we'll go to six because it, uh, sorry, uh, the width, we'll go to six. So they're, they're kind of evenly squared out. And uh, now we can choose something called mirror or not. Now if we choose to mirror and we go for um, width, uh, sorry, height symmetry, or you can go for length symmetry, or you can go for width symmetry, or you can have all of them. So. If you have all of them done, then whatever I do to a corner here is going to have an effect everywhere. Okay? Um, but we'll just go with width symmetry. And now we hit OK. You see now we have this line running down the middle. And if I go to modify, I can grab hold now of vertices, edges, or faces. If I select, hold down shift, bunch of faces here, you'll see because I have symmetry turned on, whatever I do on this side is being replicated on the other side. So you can actually begin to make organic looking shapes that are symmetrical. If I had a reference image or something to follow, we could be following that. So, as well as pulling these out, you can also rotate them as well, which is interesting. As you rotate these faces, you'll see it makes the, the point sharper or less sharp. And you can drag these around also in other directions. So, we could choose for example to come up and also sideways like this so you can begin to make interesting shapes and like I say we have symmetry turned on so whatever we do is being replicated on the other side now we could grab one point for example and we could pull that one point out we can grab complete edges here As you drag out edges, you'll see that things become a little bit sharper than if you drag out a whole face. So you can model this into this organically formed shape, whatever it is that you are forming here. And when you're done, you click on Finish Form, and it will create that into a body. Now it's a solid body object. 
Now you can treat it like any other, so, you know, we can even come in and shell this. Make it hollow on the inside. So all of our other usual body tools are now available. Now we can also now you know join it to other kind of more mechanical shapes. So for example, I could create a box. And if I wanted the bottom of this to be somewhat less organically shaped. I could drag out my box here. I could cut if we go both sides. Like that. See? And then I can cut it back also in the other opposite direction. Yeah. And I have a nice flat bottom to this shape. Okay? So if this was some ornament or something, I was going to 3D print. That would be able to sit on the table without falling over. And uh, to get a surface that flat through the actual form modeling would be almost impossible. So you would come in and cut it here, like, like so. Um, so that's it. That's kind of a real, real quick, basic introduction to forms. There's a lot more to them than this. Um, we're going to cover them in more advanced tutorials later on, where we want to model more organic shapes. Let's say you want to model a handle grip of a pistol, for example. Um, you would probably want to use the forms uh, to be able to model that. Okay, so I hope you found this tutorial useful. It's a very, very quick introduction to forms, just to give you an overview as to where the forms are. You can play around with them yourself um, until later on, when we're going to cover them in more depth, in more advanced tutorials, where we're going to be looking at actually using forms to create a real um, a model. Okay, so... Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the latest tutorials from Fusion360Tutorials.com.